on the frozen wasteland, frozen city, the wasteland of frost. We are uh, playing domination. I've got my quick strike build here, three mediums and two SRM sixes, but I know how these domination matches normally go, and I just don't have the range. So I'm going to have to inch my way up closer to the enemy at some point here, but I need to relax at the moment, stay back, and just kind of let them get in there to the middle, because most likely that's what they're going to do. There's nothing worse. Oh shit, I got a freaking assault down there targeting me. I'm trying to make my way over here. As you can see, 270 is really my range for this, and it's just not enough. I've got to get down there at some point, but right now is not a great time to do that. I'm just going to chill out here for a minute. Coming in behind us here. Love that mad cat. Alright, guys, come on. They are moving closer here. Coming up behind us. Oh, there's an urban mech back there. Not really too worried about him at the moment. Alright, let's move down this way. I'm probably gonna take some fire here, but I need to get over here to my teammates. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot I only have a ton of ammo. I really gotta be conservative with my ammo here, and I just wasted a shot. Indigo, you marauder. Hellbringer is backing up in front of the marauder. Let's take a shot at this Hellbringer there. Oh, he's just right out of my range. Damn. Alright, now we can hit him. There we go. Yeah, it, one ton is just not enough. It's not. It is not enough. You need two tons at least. But that was my fault. I called this. We're going to go for the leg on this Marauder. We're going to leg him. There we go. All right, we just legged the Marauder. He is immobile at the moment, which is funny because usually I'm the one getting legged in this Assassin here. We're just going to keep focusing on that CT there. Try to get him down. All right, Marauder is down. Looks like the Hellbringer is backed up in that corner. Target L and uh, Lima. Lima is taking. He's legged as well. Lima is legged. I did not know that. This Hellbringer is just fighting for his life here. He's down. I think we got a, uh, another. What's that? Arctic Wolf and what else? Is that another Marauder? Here's our cool shot there. We got another Marauder. CT's wide open. We only got a couple more shots of our SRMs here. Don't let him fly. We got one more. Pop him. One more shot in that Marauder. Oh, we'll do it on the. Nope, Marauder. Screw it. Oh! got our mediums left here. There we go. He is down. Arctic Wolf stands. He is making a run for it. He is really holding out there. Nice Arctic Wolf. He's just fighting for his life, but unfortunately, he brought LRMs, I think. He is down. Looks like there is a crab up top here. Let's go ahead for this crab. Oh, he just blew off one of my medium lasers. We're going to circle around him. Oh, and he's down. And that's the match. That was a close match. We came in, went down, went around the corner under the bridge, came in up be behind them, or beside them, actually. We've side flanked their asses, and it worked. Unfortunately, 
we just assisted in this match, but it was still a, a pretty damn good match here. Very close. Look, there was only three of us left in each lance. They did a good job of taking us out, but unfortunately, we overpowered them and won the match. Still a great match, and now it's time to get started in our video. Let's begin! Welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we have the Assassin. This is the Assassin 101. 101. Yes, the Assassin plays like a light, but it's actually a 40 ton in a sphere medium. But for a while there, I actually thought it was a light mech, but no, it's not. It's like the. It's a medium. It's a medium mech. And the profile of the Assassin is just so cool looking. It's The aesthetic of this mech is awesome. It's got a sleek design. It's a quick mech. And it plays the quick strike roll like a boss. The build I have today is very, very standard. Very simple. And it's only because I am completely and utterly broke. I have no C builds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just one of those days where I'm completely completely broke and I have no money for anything so I bought the assassin 101 it's a good variant to use and it's and this thing looks cool man I like I like this Cobra design I really do like it it's a good looking design but yes yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the build here it's a 40 ton mech as I said the 101 comes with four energy and two missile hard points four energy two missiles you got an energy in your head energy hard point in each torso and an energy hard point in your right arm your missile hard points are in your torsos as well so, before we get started talking about the weapons, look at the armor points and the arms. It is very, very low, so I'm not going to be putting any lasers there. I'm not going to put any laser in my right arm. Um, I'm going to keep the armor points like that. I had to focus most of my armor points on my CT and of its torsos, of course, but mo more than anything, I had to focus it on the legs. This mech came with 18 points of armor in my legs, so I had to sacrifice a ton to put into my legs. Which kind of, uh, it kind of screwed me over just a little bit because I was, uh, even now I, I am still getting legged, but having 18 points, you're going to be legged at the beginning of the match. It's just going to happen. It's happened to me all day today um, until I upgraded the, the armor points. For my weapons, I'm just using three mediums, three medium lasers, and then I'm using two SRM6s. Now, I have a standard 280 engine, 113.4 kph. If you can, and if you have the ability to, Put an XL in the Assassin. It's going to give you so much more tonnage to work with, more ammo, maybe upgrade to medium pulse lasers, or whatever you want. But I only have one ton of SRM ammo, and it's really, it's not enough. But it's what I got. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to really downgrade these to fours. I was thinking about it, but I'm just going to play it as is. We're going to play a couple matches. I'll just have to be more conservative of my ammo. I do have Feral Fibers, Double Heat Sinks, and Endo Steel. My heat management is 1.5 out of 2. Very good. Very good heat management, even with no Double Heat Sinks. But as you can tell, the armor in my arms is very low. I'm more than likely going to lose an arm or two. And my legs, we'll see. I've been getting legged quite a bit in the Assassin. And um, hopefully those armor points pay off there. But yes, if you um, want to... I'm not going to do it, but you can drop one of these down to an SRM4. It'll give you an extra ton, maybe for some SRM ammo. But it's fine. I'm just going to do some quick matches here. That's really it. The enhancements, the, the only one that it came with was a plus 10% missile velocity, which is going to help out with those SRMs. And I have a couple range enhancements, but it's not much. It's just a close range quick strike build. We're going to be trying to get in and get out, not to be seen. Just, you know, cause a little trouble here and there in the Assassin, because that's what it's made for. So let's go ahead and hit the battlefield. See you guys there. Hello everyone. Today's course is on the Assassin. Let's begin. The Assassin is a battle mech that began life because of corporate ambitions and successful lobbyists. Though there was no need for a new medium mech in its arsenal, the Maltex Corporation lobbied the Star League to purchase the Assassin as a replacement for the Light Wasp and Stinger. They were successful largely through overhyped performance statistics, fuzzy budget approximations and some greased palms, and even then only several hundred were constructed before production slowed to a crawl after two assassin factories came under investigation for quality control violations. Still, 
the assassin proved to be popular with garrison forces of the SLDF and the Maroc militia, with an impressive top speed and jumping distance of 210 meters combined with excellent coverage for its four and a half tons of armor and solid firepower. The assassin was considered a superb reconnaissance and light mech hunter in its own right. The assassin was not flawless however, especially when Maltex cut corners during its initial production, and it has the dubious distinction of having one of the most cramped cockpits of any inner sphere mech. Dozens of attempts by Maltex over hundreds of years to overhaul the cockpit cooling system to create more elbow room ended in failure, not only limiting assassin pilots' time in cockpit to half of that of other mechs, but causing many to develop a lifetime of back problems. The assassin would first see combat in 2980, long after the fall of the Star League, when the Free Worlds League successfully fought off the Federated Sons for control of Rochelle during the Third Succession War. The assassin fared better than other mechs during the bloody battle and House Marek became an enthusiastic user of the design late into the war. Eventually the use of assassins by all sides lessened due to a shortage of spare parts, with the Capellan Confederation simply running out of these mechs by 3025, though its modular design and access systems allowed it to survive. By 3058, most assassins had been phased out of service, with the remaining mechs mostly family heirlooms passed down through mech warrior families and with many modifications. Defiance Industries was licensed by Maltex to produce a variant, the ASN-30, for the Lyrans during the Fedcom Civil War, but it was largely seen as a failure. The assassin would see a resurgence in 3067 when Hellspont Works acquired the design from Maltex, thanks in part to minor distractions facing Maltex such as charges of tax evasion and collusion with the word of Blake and began producing the ASN-23 for the Capellans, the Torian Concordat and the Magistracy of Canopus. That concludes today's lesson. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Sensors online. Weapons. We are on Polar Highlands in match number two. Um, if you notice, I have more SRM ammo this time. Now, what I had to do was sacrifice some of my armor points, so I did lower them in the legs. Um, it was the only spot I could see necessary, and um, we'll have to be very careful because my legs are a lot less protected now, and it's not as great as it was. So let's try not to get legged. This is a very, very open map. Of course I get two open maps during the matches I'm trying to play. Very, very open. This is not what I need for this quick strike build, but what can you do? Oh look. How about it? Damn it, I had to shit. Yeah, but if we have a lot of learns, we have to stand back. If we don't, we need to push him. That sounds good. Oh. Hope everyone's having a great day today. And thanks for watching. Alright. I'm here for support. Where you guys decide to push out? I was thinking about buying a cicada. Um, but it just. I don't know. I do know that the cicadas are normally lightly armored, like, they don't have a lot of armor on them. And that seems like a problem to me. Um, I do have the Cicada 3FL loyalty variant, though. It's got four energy hard points, and I feel like I could maybe do something with that again instead of buying a whole new one. Target spotted. Acquired. New target, target acquired. Spotted. There was, I mean, there's so many mechs that I still need to do. That's why I like it. I'm always gonna have mechs to do, always. Probably it'll probably never end. There's always new mech variants, always mech variants that I haven't done. Still mechs that I haven't even showcased. New target acquired. Target acquired. Target new target acquired. Mm, they are moving target slowly but acquired. surely. I'm sure the Atlas sees me. I know he new does. Yep. I moved acquired. just in time. 
New target acquired. Gonna try to stay on the outskirts of these guys here. New target acquired. That Uzeal is taking some damage there. The one thing I don't want is to be recognized by LRMs, so I'm gonna try to. Yeah. Target acquired. New target acquired. Oh man. Acquired. What are the chances that they're all looking my way? Ah, oh, shit. Way, way out of range. Oh. Gotta find a good spot here. Are we gonna push these guys? New target Guys are just sitting here. New target acquired. The return is definitely not worth it. We need to make some moves. Shadowhawk running off. Um. Incoming missile. Target acquired. Base is being captured. Click. Okay, go on. Shadowhawk. Oh man. He came back for more. Alright. Let's get this bastard. Focus right there in the middle. Yeah! Shadowhawk is down. Oh! Got a fire starter and a mad cat. It is three to one at the moment. We have the three, they got the one. I'm trying to survive here. My left leg is pretty, pretty damaged. But that fire starter is left as well. Going after this mad cat. Fire starter is down. Come on, mad cat. Do not hit my legs. Get him. Let's go. Yes. Oh no, I was legged. Oh. Oh no. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Come on. Shit. It is five to three. How am I gonna pull myself? Okay, we just need to make our way. Luckily, I do have a rifleman right here by my side to protect my ass if he decides to. So we're gonna try to stick with this rifleman here. New target acquired. A legged assassin and a, 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 a rifleman. New target. That's good. Master. Oh, let's go after this Timberwolf now. Target Kilo. Yeah, let's 
go after the Timberwolf. The assassin is coming for you at 40 kph. So slow. Kilo, I'm coming for you. Hey, Jaeger Mac, he's mine. He's mine. Damn it. Shit. Jaeger Mac's cock blocking me. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, we got the Timberwolf. Ha ha! I'm still legged too. It is nine to nine. It is neck and neck. Holy shit. It is very close. There is only three of each of us. And I'm legged. So I got a storm crow to my left. Oh. oh, it's a piranha. Oh god. New target acquired. Oh, here comes a warhammer. Or a cyclops, I'm sorry. Here comes a cyclops. The CT is open though, so I think. Oh, and here comes a warhammer to his right. I knew there was a warhammer. Cyclops, warhammer, and a piranha. This is going to be a good fight. I need to switch my lasers to, um, oh no, okay, I need to chain fire my lasers here, they just took out our storm crow, I'm gonna go after this cyclops, the CT looks pretty good, come on, come on, come on, alright cyclops is down, going after this warhammer here, oh no my other leg, I can't lose it, oh I lost my other leg, it is 10 to 11, 11 to 11. Oh my god, it's the Piranha versus the Jaeger Mech. The Jaeger Mech does have streaks though. The Jaeger Mech has streaks! The Jaeger Mech has streaks. Yes! Yes! My god, if he didn't have streaks, that could have been it. His light PPCs wouldn't work up at that range. If he didn't have those streaks, that was a very close match. Two kills, nine assists. Almost 400 damage, very close, but wow, what a great match, very close, and I was legged for almost half of it. Wow, one pilot left, just one, and the Jaeger mech chose the right chores, bringing streaks on Polar. Who would have thought streaks on Polar Highlands would have made the difference? Maybe next time, Piranha. Guys, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Fuzzy Nova. Out.